how to monetize your dad's trailer without any money down in three simple steps. <laughs> it can be your dad's trailer, it can be your trailer, it doesn't really matter. It could be your granddad's trailer, uh, it could be you know friend's trailer, whatever it might be. But this is a simple way to monetize an unused trailer. And when I was younger, this type of stuff wasn't around. I mean, YouTube was only starting to come into its own really like when I was younger. I mean, I'm 40, so it's like, yeah, this type of stuff wasn't like it is today. So the ability for young people now, or people to make money now is obscene. It is so easy to make extra money in 2024. So if you're not actually making extra money by following a few of these ideas on my channel, then you're gonna want to because the extra money you're gonna make is what you can start to invest with. You can start to scale that, put it to work. It will alleviate a lot of your money problems by making that extra cash. So this is one of those ways. And it's so simple because it's driven by a simple app and you just gotta execute these three steps and you can start to monetize this, okay? So starting with, the reason I'm talking about a trailer is if you go to called Hire My Trailer, it's an app in Australia, it's called Hire My Trailer. You can also Google Trailer Hire apps in wherever country you're in. You'll find an app for it. Like in America, you can lease out cars through Churro. In Australia, it's Uber Car Share. I'm sure Uber Car Share is everywhere on the world, so you can actually apply this to cars as well. But this is for trailers because trailers can't be damaged that easily. It's quite affordable to buy them. You can find them. Like and a lot of people don't utilize their trailers to make income. So you can actually form partnerships. I'll get to that in a second. So this is all about monetizing a trailer. So the very first step of the three, you've got to have a trailer. And so you don't have to own one. So here's a couple of ideas. Number one, does your family own one they don't use number two does your does someone you know have one where you can form a partnership so you can say to them look i've noticed you've got a trailer you don't use if i could generate an income from it would you be open to splitting it 50 50. so this is how you can actually form partnerships to get assets like that without any debt without you having to buy anything no money out and you can then deploy it rent it out and you can create income pay them half and you keep half and that's one way you can create money out of thin air by being creative using the six inches between your two ears instead of your hands and making life hard for yourself. Start to be more creative about how you can conjure up money by using someone else's assets, using this app, Hire My Trailer, and you execute it all, you pay them. That's how it works. A friend's trailer, a parent's trailer, uh, whatever it might be, your trailer is even better. If you've got one and you don't use it that much or you use it only sparingly through the week and it's sitting idle on weekends, this app is exactly for you. But if you want to as well, you could go to Facebook Marketplace and type in trailer for sale and see if you can pick up a cheap trailer. You can even go and get a credit card if you really wanted to and buy the trailer. Well, maybe on, on credit, but you could certainly go to the bank and get a small personal loan to buy a trailer. You could even perhaps save up. Because some of my other videos you'll see in my channel, you can go and save up a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and you can buy a trailer for cash. So if you buy the trailer, right, then you pay the registration and then you just have it there. And so it has to be a registered trailer. And then once you've got it, you've got this asset. And so you can deploy that trailer and get paid income from it, which will pay it off. And you'll be able to recreate your 10,000 you used to pay the trailer off. You can then, by leasing the trailer out, you can actually build that money back. Then you can go and buy another trailer and then another one. You just repeat this process until you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten trailers. A buddy of mine just messaged me. He does this. He said, Lord, I was holidaying in Hawaii the other day and I made about 500 bucks sitting on the beach in Hawaii because someone was hiring my trailer. And so, you can really dial it up if you go and get more trailers. But if you don't have any money, just borrow one, do a partnership. If you do have the cash, perhaps buy one. You'll get a cheaper one on Facebook Marketplace or, or Gumtree, whatever it might be. You don't have to buy one brand new, but uh, there's a huge market for this. And the apps are available for you where you don't have to generate leads. You don't have to generate your own you know, marketing. You, you just put on the app, okay? So the first step is get a trailer. Either buy one, partnership, or you've already got one. The second step is to actually go and list it on the app. So you go hire my trailer app. Again, if you don't, have the app in your country, just go Google it, you'll find all these different apps. Choose one that looks good and put your trailer on there and build a profile that's very, you know, looks high trust. Put your face on there, your name, why you're good to deal with, what sort of deal you have for the trailer. Listen, with my trailer, I drop it off at your house and I pick it back up. With my trailer, I'm, I I clean it for you at the end so you don't have to worry about it. Whatever you're gonna put in your offer, make it really easy and fun and simple and enjoyable to do business with you and make sure you're the ultimate trailer hire person on the app. So put a good profile. If you're having like, if you're stuck with work, or what's right, go to ChatGPT 3.5 and say, hey, chat, can you make me a compelling profile uh, paragraph for my hire my trailer? And can you craft an offer with my trailer hire to make it really cool? And see what it comes up with and put it in your profile. Make sure you deliver on this, right? This is the third step. So the second step, put it on the app, wait for people to ping you and then do a deal with them. Make it easy to do business with. Don't be hard to do business with. Trust people, you know, it's all regulated through the app. So, you know, it'll cover, be covered by their insurance and so forth. And the great thing about trailers is, you know, like they're not worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's like, it's okay if some things go wrong. But if you can't do this with a trailer, you won't, you, you know, you're probably gonna struggle with business in general because business is not smooth. So it's gonna teach you so many skills on the way. So the third step is, 
to make sure that you can actually get repeat clients. So deliver a good service, make it easy to do business with you, but then ask for testimonials and reviews through the app or separately and put the reviews up on your app, get five star reviews. This person's so good, the trailer was great, their service was so good, they're easy to deal with, it was amazing, they even cleaned it, they dropped it off, whatever your offer is, make sure it's really compelling and like you stand out on the platform, okay? Because you're gonna get a lot of repeat buyers, make sure your pricing's um, okay for the delivery. You'll be able to see on there, you'll be able to see on the app which trailers are in high demand, so that will dictate which one you buy or which one you borrow. Then you'll be able to see the compelling ads, so you can model and copy their ads, right? You use model what they do, use that. And then third, you can see those that do have the five stars, why don't you email them and say, how did you get me so many five stars? Like just model success. And if you deliver that, you're gonna have people hire your trailer all the time. And of course, once it works once, like we talk about in my other videos, once you nail it once, stop looking for opportunities and dig the well you've got. If, you, if a well produces water, you don't go and create other wells immediately you dig deeper in the hole to get more water out of it so if you become a specialist a trailer highlight in the app then you go and get another trailer and you cookie cut and you repeat this process because that's how you're going to generate and scale up the income from these trailers and uh, you can have a little fleet of trailers and of course you can apply this to Camplify which is an app where you can do this with your camper van There's a lot of oversupply of camper vans at the moment so if you've got one that's sitting in your house unused you can apply these same concepts to Camplify which is an amazing app and of course with your own car on Uber on Uber car share okay and you supply the same same premise, you know, the same principles to that. And you can lease your car out, get income. Lease your camper out, get income. Lease your van out, get income. Lease your trailer out, get income. This is the way the world's going, right? People don't want to own stuff, they want to lease it. So if you own it, that's an asset. If you're not monetizing it, it's costing you money, all right? So take those three steps. Start leasing out your trailer or your camper van or your car using one of those apps. Click the follow button to see more of my content. Check out, leave me a comment. I'll come back and talk to you in the comments and make sure you go and check out my next video when it comes to money, entrepreneurship, business, and investing. All right, you have a wealthy week. Talk to you soon.